Good morning, friends. Today is April the 11th of 2017, which is exactly one month away before me and Jessica will be on TV in North Augusta, South Carolina. And I started this video a little bit sooner than I normally do because I have a lot that I want to share with you. A lot of things that the Holy Spirit has been telling me this morning. You know, when I went to Rebecca King's ministry up there in Hayhire, Georgia. Uh, excuse me, not Hayhire. That was Nashville, Georgia. Forgive me. Rebecca King Ministries up in Nashville, Georgia. Um, right before lunch, she stopped and she was looking dead at me and began to speak a prophecy. And to make this really quick, the main gist was that, that I was going to hear the voice of God clearer than I had ever heard before. And I thought she was referring to in my time of prayer. Well, friend, <laughs> I hear the Holy Spirit louder and more clear as I am making these videos and as I am meditating on God and His Word. Well, the Lord, the Holy Spirit told me some things this morning, and I'm going to touch on some of it. But, and then I'm going to allow you to act by faith because I'm not going to tell you the full-blown revelation of what the Holy Spirit showed me this morning. But first I want to tell you this. On April the 6th, I made a video with Pastor Robert in the small building, which is going to be and is the Father's house. But there's not a sign on it. So, <clears throat> anyway, I told him that within seven days, we would have the $1,500 to get the radio, the Christian radio station. Well, yesterday, or should I say late last night, I called the man up and I ordered the Christian radio station. He is assembling the package of everything I need and will have it sent to me before the 18th, which of course is my 55th birthday. Now, he said that also that I did not have to wait to get that package. I need that package to do live uh, broadcast. But anyway, so I went ahead and I have uploaded some songs of Jessica Ratliff of her new CD and you can go to my Facebook page and if you go to my Facebook page you'll see it there and you can click on the link and it will take you over to the uh, to the radio station where you can listen to it on your phone live or your computer but here's what we're finding out if you have an Android <laughs> You're, you're having a hard time listening to it. So now I see the reason why that they're offering the Android app for free, Android and Blackberry, because there's there, for some reason, uh, you're gonna need that app to get your Androids to work smoothly uh, with the software or, or whatever, however that works. But anyway, but they're gonna charge, <coughs> charge me $299 to develop the um, to develop the uh, iPhone app which of course I got to scrape up $299 to get that because I've got to have uh, an iPhone app so I'm going to have an Android app but anyway the radio is up and running but I've only was able to upload five songs so as the days progress, I'm going to be uploading more songs, more audio of preaching, teaching, uh, commercials, 
uh, advertisements, and so forth. <clears throat> now, listen to this. I won't dwell on this very long, but I sent out, I literally sent out at least 200 uh, uh, introductions to what we're doing here at the Father's house. And of those 200, maybe one person responded. But those who did respond were those who have been following the Million for Christ ministry for some time. And you, my friend, have made this possible. And I am come thinking up ways how I am going to show my gratitude for what you have done because you have just put me into a position to explode the truth of God's word across the whole world with this media of internet Christian radio. Now, let me share with you uh, two things. No, I want to share with you three things where you can be a blessing. And I'm now I am talking to everybody. Now, there is a family that two days ago their trailer was totally burned to the ground. Um, they have a GoFundMe account. They have a GoFundMe account. And in that GoFundMe account, um, they're, they're, they put it to $10,000. Well, listen, it's going to take more than $10,000 to replace what they've lost in their trailer. Not to mention the trailer. And hopefully they had good insurance, which will give them some money towards the purchase of another. But the thing is, uh, the, you know, I, I don't know the people personally, but I do know their family members personally and they're good friends with some of my my friends so i contacted um one of their uh relatives that that i know and i told them that look gofundme is going to take out either i think it's like five or six percent of all the money received but anyway, make a long story short, um, I want us to help this, this family. So if you'll go to my Facebook page, Asa Pittman, and if you will just scroll down just a little bit, you will see the burnt trailer where you can click on the GoFundMe account. Now, you know, I'm going to give, of course, personally, out of my personal account, of course, and I would like for those who would like to be a blessing to this mother and her child that was burnt out, if you would like to, you know, donate through the GoFundMe account. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you want to, if you want to, that's probably the best way just to do it, to do it that way. You know, I was even thinking about uh, driving down there to where they live and in a couple of days and interviewing them and talking to them and seeing exactly what they need, you know. Um, but I, I am waiting to get a response back from them because yesterday morning I reached out to her and I haven't heard back yet. And I mean, what, surely I haven't heard back from her because their their lives have just almost been destroyed. Everything they own has went up uh, in flames. So she probably don't have time to be trying to respond to all the the people that's reaching out to her. But anyway, that that is the the major need that if you want to touch somebody with a, a an act of kindness and change somebody's life for the better and show them the love of Christ there's your opportunity right now and let me say this now understand I have got people that will listen to this video that do not have the money 
to sin uh, for the support of this ministry and so forth. And I want you to understand this right now, dear brothers and sisters that are in this situation. I'm not talking to you. I am not talking to you. But understand what I'm about to say. I know brothers and sisters in the Lord, mainly brothers, that just absolutely do not want to give to, to see a little ministry get started. See, God said, do not despise small beginnings. And I'll, I'll just go on record right now. If it wasn't for the dear, sweet sisters, <laughs> if I had to wait on the brothers to help us get this radio station, I would have been waiting a long time. I had three brothers that gave, and the rest was all dear, sweet sisters. Now, so obviously the Lord, uh, or should I say the, the sisters listen to the voice of the Lord a whole lot better than the brothers do. As a whole, now, don't, don't get offended, you know, because I know the three brothers that gave, you gave a very nice gift, which helped us reach the $1,500 that we needed within the seven days. Which, which I mean we got it within five days but anyway let me tell you what the church uh, needs when I say the church I mean I it's it's the building uh, so far they need um, chairs pastor Robert Fulton's uh, outreach ministry needs chairs well he came across a group of 72 chairs that they wanted $750 for, which that's unbelievable. That's only about $10 a chair. Well, a church here in town heard the need, praise God, got together and bought the chairs. From what I understand, talking to Brother Robert a couple of days ago, bought the chairs for the Father's house. Now what we need, we got the chairs, we're going to need some money, uh, which to, um, to fix up that extra, uh, a place, which that, that's not, I don't think that's what's the most important thing that's needed right now. The most important thing which is needed, uh, is obviously a sign on the front of the building. You, we, we literally, listen to this, we literally in a course of a day have I bet 10,000 cars pass by that building every single day and that's probably a it's probably more than 10,000 cars and they don't know that that is the father's house and I've already looked it up the best cheapest way to go is to have a vinyl um, sign on the front and it's going to be about $500 to have a vinyl sign. The front of that building, if you look at our video, it is literally, the front of that building is literally like a billboard for Jesus Christ. I'm serious. Could you imagine 10,000 to 15,000 uh, cars pass in front of that building every single day? And these people need to know, first of all, the name of the ministry. In addition to that, uh, with Pastor Robert's uh, uh, approval, I would like to see the scripture that says, God is not, uh, excuse me, God is long-suffering, not willing that any should perish, but that all come to repentance. People need to see that God's not against them. That one scripture right there could prick somebody's heart and get them saved. God is long-suffering, not willing that any should perish, but that all come to repentance. And let me tell you something else that me and Brother Robert, we have teamed up for to do in Valdosta, Georgia. Like he said, the elephant 
that roams around that nobody don't want to touch is the is the elephant of racism and he was telling me that the Lord is laying on his heart that Asa and Robert is going to be used in Valdosta, Georgia to help put down once and for all racism where you look at a person's skin and you get evil thoughts in your mind. That is not God. Hallelujah. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That world is full of different color skin. Different color skin. God loves it all. He don't judge according to the skin. He don't judge according to the way you look, what you, the clothes you wear, the way you fix your hair. He judges according to a man's heart. And God wants all men to come to salvation. So, I'm telling you, if you want to be part of a ministry, this little itty bitty ministry right now that is going to explode the Father's House World Outreach Ministry, Million for Christ Evangelistic Ministry, is two ministries you need to get involved in. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because everybody else wants to be politically correct, biblically. And if there's anything that Robert Fulton and Asa Pittman is not, are not, is not, or have not, however you want to say it, English teachers, just give me a D plus, I reckon. Let me listen. We cannot be biblically, politically correct in these last days. Jesus was not politically correct. Jesus came preaching the word. And those scribes and those Pharisees and those rabbis says, Man, you you are a crazy man. The son has done cooked your brain. You think you're the Messiah? <laughs> you ain't nobody but Joseph's boy. Out there, you're a carpenter. You're not the Messiah. I don't care. You know, I don't know how you, you know, I don't know how you did that walking on the water and Lazarus obviously couldn't have been really dead. You ain't no Messiah, Jesus. That's what those rabbis said. We got to put him to death. We got to put this crazy man to death. And he was the God Almighty. He is God Almighty. And those rabbis, oh, we got to put Jesus to death. This, he's crazy. You wait. They going to think me and Robert's crazy when it's over. Well, they already think I'm crazy. Let me tell you something. Robert Fulton, praise God. That is one eloquent preaching man. I tell you, I just take it straight. I rip the package off and I just tear into it. Not Brother Robert. Brother, Brother Robert can pull that stuff out of there and man, he can just lay out the most wonderful message of God. Have you eaten out of his hands? That's the difference in the way the Holy Ghost uses. I, <laughs> Man, I tell you, I, if I if it was sandpaper, I would be, I don't know, five grit, I reckon. But Brother Robert, I mean, I, I'll get in there and tear it up, get it roughed up. Brother Robert comes along and smooth it out. And that's how we're going to be. You know, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> you listen. You either got to be full of the Holy Ghost or be absolutely out of your mind to say some of the things that has come out of my mouth. Like I told my wife, the closer I get to God, the more God burns in my heart and the bolder I get to speak what he tells me. And I'm telling you, he told me some things this morning that I don't have time to tell you. But praise God, I will either this afternoon or tomorrow. God is going to stir up. Y'all listen, Valdosta, Georgia, and the rest of the world. 
God, the Holy Ghost. Praise God. He done told me he's going to stir up. The Holy Ghost is going to stir up these churches. Y'all going to come out of them three-piece suits. Y'all <laughs> coming out of them three-piece suits. Y'all are going to stop looking your past nose down to people on the streets that, that, that you think uh, that you're better than. Oh, no, sir. I'm telling you, you're coming out of them three-piece suits. That is, if you love the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, you are coming out of those three-piece suits. You're going to dress modestly, not like some pious, rich king. And you're going to get out there to the people that would be considered the Lazarus people. People that are outcast. The prostitutes. Those who have been thrown away. Those who have leprosy. Let me tell you this. Jesus came to those who needed a physician. Not to y'all. Y'all better get full of the Holy Ghost. Get out of your pride. Quit thinking you're all that. Because you know what? God is not a respecter of persons. God loves that poor person asleep on the dirt just as much as he loves you, Mr. C-E-O. He loves the lady that's been left for dead just as much as he does you, worship leader. But while we're all up here praising the Lord, we don't care that people are laying outside your church buildings sick, dying, hungry, and thirsty. You better come out of your pride and start taking the resources that God Almighty has given you and use it to touch people. Because listen, when we stand before God and you've used all your resources to pay your rent, to pay your electricity bill, and to, to, and to do all these things to a building, and you let the temples of God lay outside, deteriorated, without hope, without God, and lost in this world, y'all better get yourself straight and you better get saved. That's right, you better get saved. You better get full of the Holy Ghost and you better get full of the love of the Most High God. That's all I'm going to say on that at this moment. Anyway, I, I have given y'all three, three things. A family needs a new home. Family needs a new home. And we need a sign on the building. So, you want to help us? Help us. And by the way, if you want to help me raise up the $299 to get the iPhone out for the radio, hey, I can use that too. All of this is all all of this is about one thing: evangelizing the world with the truth of God. God bless you, my friend.